take sticks up. Well, the media frenzy street. also attracting protesters to downtown and Des Moines today. Three of them arrested. Anti-war protesters that were demonstrating two. outside Huckabee headquarters near Six and Locust. The flood of demonstrators, political supporters, and news crews actually forced the police to shut down the streets until they could get all those people out. My name is Kathy Kelly. I'm part of a group called Voices for Creative Nonviolence, and. I'm in Des Moines right now, in fact, a guest at the Des Moines Catholic Worker House, uh, one of my favorite places to be, because a number of us are congregating from different parts of the Midwest or beyond, and we, we feel very respectful of the caucus process that people in Iowa have developed over so many years, and we think it's very important for people who feel strongly about the United States war in Iraq that has gone on uh, to seem almost like an endless war, a, a war that is perpetuated that is causing great harm and displacement and bereavement and, and gobbling up resources of U.S. people, that this war should be uh, very much a part of the caucus process, that these questions about the war should be inserted into the process, and every aspiring presidential candidate ought to be very clear how would they ever plan to end this war, to stop funding for the war. And that's why we're here. We want to go into the caucus events and into the headquarters of aspiring presidential candidates, be they Democrat or Republican, and pose questions that are um, pointed questions and demanding that they speak to this, which we think is one of the most important issues in the United States and, in fact, in the world today. Well, Governor Huckabee has an office in downtown Des Moines. And in fact, he was going to pull into the street in front of that office in a very large bus uh, advertising his campaign. And, and I think many of the viewers of this video would know that Governor Huckabee has really um, emphasized his credentials as a Christian, as somebody committed to Christian values. And so we wanted to take him at his word. And our, our, our soundbite, I suppose, was quite simple. Governor Huckabee, Reverend Huckabee, who would Jesus bomb? And our friend Frank Cordero was outside of Governor Huckabee's office, and he was, he was quite um, effective, I think, in saying, Look, uh, which, which Jesus are you going to speak of? Because if you're going to appeal to the Jesus of the Gospels, uh, Jesus who spoke so clearly about feeding the hungry and clothing the naked and welcoming the stranger at your door, who said, Thou shalt not kill, who was very, very clear, blessed are the peacemakers, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for justice. Well, this is the Jesus that Reverend Huckabee, Governor Huckabee, is advocating. Then it doesn't square with calling for uh, ongoing funding for the war and saying that there should not be any withdrawal of United States troops in Iraq when we know clearly that those troops have been involved in destruction, in bloodletting, in intimidation and fear being used as the means through which the United States would gain dominance over another country whose resources we want to take at cut rate prices. Even if the mainstream media wants to push the issue of warfare against Iraq off the pages and off the screen, we think it's our responsibility to push it right back in and to ask these questions. And so in a sense, when people were saying, come on, Governor Huckabee, come off that bus, come and answer our question, who would Jesus bomb? We meant that in earnest, and we see that as our responsibility. We, we don't think that we're um, people who are acting outside the law. In fact, you know, Congress shall make no law to abridge the right of people to assemble peaceably for redress of grievance. That's what we did inside of the offices of campaign headquarters. We assembled very peaceably. We even sang the song, Auld Lang Syne, and I think that uh, it calms people down quite a bit. At first, uh, I think the security people and maybe some of uh, Governor Huckabee's staff were, were nervous, but uh, when they realized that we wanted to sing verses to a time-honored song, and then uh, after we sang, should all the plaintiffs be forgot and never laid to rest, that we wanted also to remember those people whose, whose names should be significant to us, the names of people in Iraq, both American and Iraqis, who've been killed, and not to forget that this war has caused great bereavement. There are arms that will be aching for loved ones who will never return. And some of those arms are children's arms, and some are parents' arms, and some are the arms of brothers and sisters. And uh, these people deserve to have a place in our remembrance, but also in our recognition that there's some very serious choice making to be made right now in this country as people look toward aspiring presidential candidates. It wasn't an organized
organized campaign rally stopping traffic downtown, but political protesters. Put Jesus Bob Shelton in a rock. Police arrested three as they filled the streets outside Huckabee's headquarters. Back to the curbs, out of the street. As the day wore on, underdogs made their final pitch at 2007.